Number 61. Complete the changes in concentrations or pressure if requested for each of the following reactions. And then we have this balanced equation. So in this case, we have to figure out the changes in the concentration of NH4HS solid, which comes to equilibrium with NH3 gas plus H2S gas. Okay, now we always have to start with what we're given, right? So I'm going to focus on the NH3. In this case, they're telling us that uh, there was an increase in a factor of 1x with the NH3 gas. I know that it's an increase because this x value was a positive. They didn't state that it was a negative value, so I just care that it's a positive value. Okay, so from that information, if this product is increasing, what's going to happen to this other product? Yeah, if one product increases, the other product has to go up as well. So if NH3 was a positive, this also has to be a positive. But now what is the factor? Well, that comes from the coefficients. If we look here, in front of the NH3, there was one NH3, and in front of the H2S, there was also one. So, the number that goes in front of the X is going to be your coefficient. So technically, this was plus 1x, but remember, anytime that we say plus 1x, it's easier to just say plus x. So the same thing goes here. This was plus 1x, because the coefficient is 1, but plus 1x is the same thing as saying plus x. And now they look identical, because they're a 1 to 1 ratio. So if NH3 goes up by a factor of 9, or actually a change of 9.8 times 10 to the negative 6 molarity, what do you think this is going to increase by? Yeah, it's the same because it's the same ratio. 9.8 times 10 to the negative 6 molarity. I just want to point out here, and maybe I'll just put a positive in front of here, just to make it apparent that it's increasing and not decreasing. I also want to say that we do not care about the solid because remember, with solids, they're not in the equilibrium expression, right? No solids and liquids allowed because there is no change in the concentration, aka the activity, in the uh, solid. But you might be saying, well, wait a minute, Christina, if this is increasing, how are the reactants staying the same, right? You've always taught me that, you know, if one side increases, the other side drops, and you are totally correct. But what drops here? Not the concentration, just the mass. And since mass, we don't care about mass, in the K expression, that's why we don't worry about it. And there you go. So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel. That will help us out. And thank you so much for that. Let's keep rocking and rolling. We got tons more videos coming your way. We just reached 3,000 videos, so we're working hard over here. But it just goes to show you that with hard work and just practice, right? I mean, we're 3,000 videos in <laughs> that... You know, with hard work, you guys will get chem. And we have physics videos and math videos. So we, we got you covered with that. So go check the channel out. I believe in you guys. Good luck on your tests and quizzes. And I will see you all later. Bye-bye.